guys! So Halloween's coming up and me and my friends decided to put together a really cool Adventure Time themed costume thing. And since I'm the only one of my friends that can sew, I'm in charge of putting all the costumes together. The other week I made Finn's hat, and I've been looking around but I can't find anything that tells me how to make his backpack. So I decided I was just going to wing it and I'll show you how to. A large piece of dark green felt, smaller pieces of light green felt, a sewing machine, some thread, scissors, pins, and Taylor's chalk. This is moderately easy and anyone can try their hand at it, but first you should probably know how to work a sewing machine. Start by laying out your dark green felt, fold it in half, and trace a 14 by 11 inch rectangle with your Taylor's chalk. Now that you have your rectangle traced, round off the corners and then cut it out. Make sure that you're cutting through the two pieces of felt so that you have two rectangular pieces. Now you want to cut a rectangle 30 by 4 inches. Now use your ruler to find the middle of each piece of fabric that you've cut so far. Mark it on the very bottom of the fabric with your chalk. Now take one of these rectangles and your 31 by 4 inch rectangle and match up the bottoms that you just marked and begin to pin them together. And when you're done, your piece should look like this. And now you sew. Make sure that you go over the seam twice so it's nice and strong. Now you can take your other piece of felt and begin to pin it to the side of what you have sewed so far. And you can use those middle chalk lines that you made to match up where it should go. And when you're done pinning, sew this side. Now you can take out all the pins. Now that you have the base of the book bag, you can decide which side you want to be the front. Fold it down so that it's even with the two smaller corners. You can pin it and get ready to sew. Now that you've sewed that down, you can cut off the extra material. Now we're going to make the straps, so cut a rectangle 7 inches by 14 inches out of the dark green fabric. Now you're going to take this rectangle and cut it in half so you have two long strips. Now you want to take your strips and fold them in half again and pin them like that. Now that you've pinned the strips, you can sew them both together. Now cut the extra fabric off of these little noodle things. You're going to have to turn them inside out, so you want to make sure that you get as much of this fabric off as you can without getting too close to the seam line. Just turn it inside out and begin to push the fabric through. It helps if you have something long and skinny that you can put in there to push it out the other side. And that's what it should look like. Now that you got your two dark green tubey noodle things, you can cut a 12 by 7 inch rectangle on your light green fabric. And you're going to cut this one in half as well. Same deal as the dark green straps. You're going to fold them in half, pin them, and sew them. Remember to cut off the excess fabric so when you turn them inside out, it's a lot easier. Now you have to attach the two. So take your light green strap and push the end in a little bit so you have a clean edge. Take your dark green strap and push it inside. You're going to want to sew them together. This might be a little tough for your sewing machine depending on how thick it is, but you can always hand sew it. Now we're going to make the top of the backpack. So cut a 9 by 12 piece of the light green felt. Piece. Uh, and pin it onto the top and get ready to sew. Now you should have something that looks like this. You want to take these corners here and round them off. Now that you have the top on, 
you can flip it to the back. You're going to want to find a good spot to put the straps in the corners and mark it with chalk. Now you're going to want to cut a small hole where your chalk lines are. Pull the light green stack through, pin it, and then do the other side. Now you can cut the holes in the bottom, but when you put the strap through, don't pin it yet because you're going to want to put it on and adjust it and see what size you want your straps to be. Okay. I'm going to pin them. I'm not going to pin you, so don't worry. Thank you. Now you want to sew your straps to the book bag. Take the light piece and push it through the hole and line it up so that it's flat between the dark piece and just sew that together. So the inside should look like this. And on the outside, it'll look like that. And now you're going to do the same thing to the bottoms. And now your back is done, and it should look like this. Now you probably have some sharp corners here, and you can round those off if you want. Now you're almost done. The final touch is a button that you're going to put right there. Now for those of you who want to use a button, sew the button onto this dark green fabric on the front. Fold this over, see where the light green piece matches up, and cut a little buttonhole. For the rest of you, you're done. Congratulations, you know how thin's backpack. So I hope you guys had fun. Hope this was easy enough for you. And enjoy your new backpack.